In a lot of my videos, I do these very nice slow panning shots of various maps to show off how they look. I've had a few requests from people asking how I do this. So here's a little video explaining how it's done. This should work in almost any Source Engine game. But I'll be using Team Fortress 2 for this example since it's the game I use the most. First off, open the console. If you haven't turned it on yet, go into your options, go to the keyboard tab, push the advance button, and tick enable developer console. By default you open by pushing the tilde key. That's the little squiggly boy often in the top left corner of your keyboard. Next, load your map. You can do this quickly by opening the console and typing map followed by the map name. It should come up in a list of maps when you search it. Once the map is loaded, type in sv underscore cheats1 to enable all the fun stuff we're going to be using. You can also type in mp underscore wait for players underscore cancel to skip for the waiting for players time. You'll also want to type in glow underscore outline underscore effect underscore enable zero as sometimes the maps will have items and things that have a glowy effect and we don't want that. Now find something you want to film. I like to pick things where you can have some interesting parallax effects going on. Look for things like uh, poles and trees. Now type CL draw HUD 0 to turn off the HUD. And R draw view model 0 to disable the view model. Just a little tangent, I noticed that doing this will affect the lighting of your character on the HUD. Also you can use R draw view model 0 without SV cheats. Some players prefer to use this as certain view models block the screen. Now type in no clip to move around freely. Fly to a position you want to pan from, and then type in SV no clip speed, followed by a small number. Something like 0.1 or 0.2. Now when you move around in no clip, it'll be a lot more slower and smoother looking. Now all you gotta do is record what's on your screen using a capture program of your choice. I use OBS. I have to point out there is some limitations to this method. If you go across a surface that touches your character's feet, it will catch on the surface, especially at lower speeds. And if you're using bots, they will be targeting you while you record. You can get around this by going to spectator and pushing the spacebar to no clip. At least in TF2 you can. But this version of movement is not affected by SV no clip speed, and instead requires changing three commands to move slower. CL forward speed, CL side speed, and CL back speed. I don't use this method as often as it's momentum based, so the numbers need to be different. And entering one command is much easier than managing three. I should also point out that you get some really nice panning shots by playing around with the Source Engine's demo recording feature. But that's beyond what I know. If I ever learn how to play around with that feature, I will make a video expanding on this. So I hope that little tutorial is useful for something. I do this quite a bit for my videos, and now you know how I do it.